Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're here actually reviewing Dracula by Stern today at Black Circle Brewery in Indianapolis, Indiana. Please look for a review underneath the description of our YouTube video, as well as like and follow us on our social media formats, Arcade and Pinball Talk, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as click that red subscribe button. Join our family. If you like arcade, if you like virtual pinball, if you like pinball in general, go ahead and click subscribe. Be a part of our family. Let's get this review underway, shall we? First things first, this table is a solid state. Older setup. Artwork is what you would expect from an older table like this. It's going to be a bang and clanger. Not a whole lot of a soundtrack going on with it, but that doesn't take away from the fun. It's actually laid out pretty good, I think. Flipper gap's a little wide. Ball speed's not too bad. There are in lanes and out lanes, so that makes it a little bit easier with the flippers being a little bit more together, so it'll be a moderate gameplay. Well, let's talk about the table mechanics here. Flipper gap not too bad as you see, left in lane, right in lane, right out lane, left out lane, sling left, right, mid sling left. You have pop uh, drop targets on the left. You have a little a little mini loop, is what I call it, mini orbit with a little kick out uh, to the, the inside of that. Mushroom buffers throughout the middle. A little rail system around the plunger area with some drop targets to the top right. Spinner going around again that area to the mushrooms and a lot of targets to the right. Very simple setup. Doesn't take away from the fun, however. Looks great. Our package is there. Back glass is beautiful with the mirroring to the back end. That's what's so great about some of the older EMs and uh, older solid states is the fact that the back glass is actually glass. It's mirrored. It looks good. It's, it's, it's art in its own right. Uh, flow of this game is not too bad. It's stacked more to the back, which is what I would like to see. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the fact that the, the mushroom bumpers are smacking the area for you to get to the back, which is part of the difficulty of the table. So this is a moderate difficulty. Replayability, I think, would be there on here because you have the mushroom bumpers to the middle and you need to get to the back, which is where I just got. So the secret here is how do you hit all these and light them all up the side, X, Y, Z, all the way up to the right and drop those tar drop targets down. That can be pretty hard. Themes there, replayability is decent, fun factor I think is there for this machine being as old as it is. So all in all, check out the rest of our review metrics underneath the description of our video. You'll see it show more or a little arrow pointing down under the headline. Click there, everything's written out for you. Uh, very easy to read. But anyway, other than that, thank you for watching today. Please click subscribe and uh, to our next video.